Storms created headaches for commuters in Alexandria this morning. Water flooded the tracks between the Braddock Road and uh, Reagan National Airport stations on the blue and yellow lines. Hundreds of riders were left stranded. Our Philip Stewart continues our coverage. He's live now in Alexandria with the latest. Philip? Well, today, good news, at least for now. Trains are up and running once again here along the blue and yellow lines at Braddock Row. But it was certainly a much different story out here earlier this morning for a lot of commuters. It was a rough start to the work week. Folks, get out of the roadway. It was a messy Monday morning on Metro. This is terrible. I've never seen it like this since I've been riding Metro. I've never seen it like this. There was no rail service between Braddock Road and Reagan National Airport for much of the morning rush because of flooding in this tunnel between the two stations. The result, major delays for thousands of riders on the blue and yellow lines. They said people have been waiting at least 45 minutes and probably looking at least another 30, 45 minutes easy. Crowded, congested, confusion, but it's all right. We'll either get a shuttle, a cab, or somebody from the office to come and pick us up. Metro crews worked to pump the water out of the flooded tunnel as dozens of shuttle buses moved commuters between Braddock Road and National. But at the peak of the morning commute, the buses simply couldn't keep up, causing some riders to give up. I just, I walked out and I saw all the people and I said, I'm not even going to try it. Just figured it'd be quicker to get a cab. We have a coworker that's, um, I've warned to not take the blue line today and they're actually on their way to come pick me up on the way. Metro officials call the flooding unusual. Pumps in the tunnel should have prevented flooding. Still, many commuters were left to make the most of their congested commute. Just going to walk up to Reagan. You know, it's a beautiful walk. Maybe I'll stop and get some breakfast. Either way, I'm going to be late. Now, Metro says they will have crews down in that tunnel taking a closer look at those pumps and make any necessary repairs to prevent any other sort of future flooding from happening. Meantime, they say everything looks fine for the evening rush. We are live in Alexandria this afternoon. Philip Stewart, ABC 7 News. All right. That's good to hear, Philip.